As the march toward 5G deployments continues, network capacity, cross-connectivity, and interoperability have become essential elements of progress. Joining me to discuss some of the real-world implications is Cole Crawford, Vapor IO founder and CEO. Cole, thank you for being with us today. Vapor IO is almost a proving lab for the development of the grid across its Kinetic Edge location. So what are some of the lessons you're learning in working with real world customers and what use cases do you believe that we're going to see catching on first? I definitely think it's fair to say that Vapor was a proving ground for, for 5G and grid infrastructure. Um, and so far as to say that we were very early out of the gate as we started the company back in 2015. Um, that being said, some of the lessons that we've learned is uh, the grid doesn't materialize overnight. Uh, you know, the old saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. There's been significant lessons learned in terms of working with jurisdictions, working with municipalities and across uh, county borders and, and municipality borders to ensure the uh, consistent coverage that the grid will necessitate. Um, Workload wise, I believe that everything from consumer gaming, uh, which you know could be uh, as simple as uh, your kids playing Pokemon Go to um, life saving real time medical diagnostic and uh, treatment plans will happen on the grid. Uh, I certainly don't want to predict the timing of one of those versus the other. Uh, I would I think it'd be fair to say that uh, gaming probably comes first, smart retail, smart uh, manufacturing seem like pretty obvious um, workloads that, that should and could exist on the grid. Uh, but um, I think as we're all learning, um, 5G and its associated uh, related technologies are taking a little, little longer to roll out than we thought. So with those examples that you provided, what business models do you see evolving for organizations that are looking to offer network capacity under the grid approach? It goes back to, your question goes back to exactly what I was just saying, which is if you look at what an as a product ownership model looks like, where you buy all of the capacity or you buy all of the infrastructure necessary for uh, a mission critical application or a revenue generating application, you have to make certain bets about um, the size of that infrastructure or that network capability. And you know, more often than not, that needs to be adjusted up or down depending on uh, adoption. What cloud computing has done for our entire ecosystem is given the enterprise another path, which is a utility or consumption model uh, path that allows you to dynamically increase or decrease the amount of infrastructure that is necessary to achieve those revenue goals um, or those uh, mission critical uh, goals for the owner operated experience um, of the enterprise today. Uh, so I do think that we're seeing a, a maturization of the industry to um, evolve traditional legacy telecommunications offerings bringing those into the 21st century uh, with you a, a, a true utility-based consumption model. And, and with the consumption models that you outlined, do you think that organizations will end up monetizing the spare network capacity? I, I definitely think so. One of the key enablers of 5G from uh, a revenue generating perspective for the service provider itself uh, is a technology called network slicing which in effect is the ability to take license spectrum or even non-license spectrum and carve up chunks of that spectrum and offer that with um, quality assurance and SLA, et cetera, to a given enterprise. Um, and I certainly believe network slicing is going to play a big role in how enterprises, cloud service providers uh, and service integrators uh, and systems integrators will ultimately leverage uh, this shift from uh, owner operated as a product to uh, utility consumption as a service. Well, Cole, thank you so much for being with us today and letting us know where Vapor IO is in the ecosystem of 5G. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much.